Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to look at the other half of Imperial Garden today, the Inward 9. Um, uh, regular tees, normal cups. Uh, no rain today, as so if you saw my last video. Um, we haven't got the rain. And again, playing this because I think this is pretty much going to be the next um, tournament. So I kind of want to get a feel for it again. Not played it in a little bit. Um... Again, we're going to use the custom clubs just because I want to get a feel for the course. We'll, when we know roughly what the parameters are going to be, we'll start looking at playing it with slightly shorter clubs. So, risk-reward is what this course is all about. Um, I might just back off a little bit here because I don't really want to end up up there if I can avoid it. And this course, you know, absolutely favours accuracy and punishes inaccuracy. Um, those pot bunkers are a nightmare. The rough is pretty unforgiving. There's a lot of water. So really about hitting your fairways and greens. Um, and I think if you're watching when I was going to the ranks, you know, every time I came up with this course, it was all about course management. It was all about getting the spot, giving yourself a nice putt. And I think that's still true. And particularly if we're not going to have the length, okay. if you don't have the custom clubs available to you. You know, it's going to be critical to get it close. Give yourself good approaches in and leave yourself sub 10 foot putts. So, barely chance. So I think what we'll do is we'll play it with the custom clubs to start and then we'll we'll try it with less club and see, see if we can find some good places to put the ball and some good ways of managing the course. I like this, I like this hole. This one's the hit it over the lock gates to start. Again, all about picking a good line in the... Um, on the fairway. Of course, with the custom clubs, this is, this is pretty straightforward. But as you'll see when we play this with shorter clubs, um, understanding where you're going to play it and putting it in the right, putting it in play is kind of a challenge. So that's all right. It's in a decent position. 115 to go. Big pot bunker guarded. See that pin position there? It's just. If you're long, you're out the back. If you're short, you're in the sand. You know, the, the, the sensible option is to play here to give yourself a bit of room to to miss for a bottom of a better turn. And sort of the slightly longer part. But on the basis that you got a bit of margin. So I got a bit of left sway there. But we're just about on. Nice. Can you make Particularly if you're going to have a low control stat. So we get an eagle putt here. If you do get the low control site in the tournament, I think, you know, certainly playing the left or right hand side of that green is going to be the viable option. You're not going to want to play the middle. Get in there. So, good eagle. So, 12. And this is the one with the kink in it. Now, a couple of options here. You can play over here if you're not feeling confident. I mean, with the custom clubs, you can drive the green. Um... And arguably, that's what I should do. But then your other option is to play over here. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Since we're since we're having a play with it. That tree, though. Let's go round it. Got the ultra spin. Excellent. Genzo likes it. Ah, oh, that was absolutely lucky. New record. We're on the fringe. That was pure luck. But do you know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's try the chip and run. Actually, we can capitalise on our luck. Yeah. Oh, not quite, not quite. Knew it. Got it close, though. Give ourselves a birdie pup. We got away with absolute murder there. Makes a birdie. <laughs> so, unjustified birdies. But you know what? Still says one. There's no little asterisk there, is the birdie but. Nope. So 13. Again, this is, this is one that's all about course management. You know, if you look where you're going to hit it, you have got to be on the money to get it up there. Or you can back off a bit to here, which is what I think we will do after our last hole. And try and get a decent position. Again, lots of little hills and valleys and places it can kick. You've just got to be super careful. Yeah, it should be alright, it should be alright. And try not to hit it anywhere stupid. So 67 to go. Not quite an approach. But again, pretty benign. Not a lot of wind. 
Got the ultra backspin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pitched it past comeback. Yeah, that's pretty much picture postcard perfect. It's a four foot for a birdie. Thank you very much. Fairways and greens. If you hit the fairway, get a good shot into the green. You can make this course far easier than it otherwise needs to be by messing about in rough and bunkers. It's not really a long five, is it? It's a, it's a three. Great shot. My worry here is you come in too short. No, it's all right. Should get on. Good. The grip needs to grip. Needs to grip. Yeah. Ah, take nice. position eight. Come on, get that birdie. So six foot. Again, this just looks easy if you can put the ball six foot away. Makes a birdie. <laughs> I mean, with shorter clubs, you're going to be coming in with a the wood there. You know, stopping a wood Ball on a green. It's a hard four. You know, hitting woods with backspin. Just different, different game. As we'll see when we play this with short clubs. It'll be a different game. So again, I have the sensible plays here. Give myself a little bit of margin. Just because of where it's going to land. It's going to land short. You want to clear that front. That's all right. Just got up there. New record. So 45 to go. Again, got a nice position, so we should give ourselves another green. Again, can we get the backspin? Mm, just normal backspin. I should check it though. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Knew it. Two foot to go. Could this be a birdie? Just looks easy when it's um nice. when you get good positions on the fairway. Nice. So we're at seven. Clearly, it's a big mistake coming. Ball 16. It's a par five. Again, just look at 16. Just look at that course map. Look at all those bunkers if you're wide. You know, you just do not want to miss. Now, there's a little skip off that bit of tarmac there that I sometimes play. Maybe I'll drive it. No, I might just ping it. Am I going to eat it? No, I've actually got more length than that now. But again, you know, you just don't want to end up in any of those bunkers. That's another bad drive. 406, wow. So again, two choices here. One is to drive it, six iron into there, or you can lay up to here, which we'll have to do with the short clubs. Do you know what? We're going to go for it. So it's a little bit uphill, a little bit of wind. Got the ultra back spin. And again, you know, we're playing a six iron in, not a three wood. Good. Yeah, it's kicked a bit left, but we're up and we're on. Got an eagle pup. Can you make the eagle? It's a 15 foot. Get in. Sloping up. So maybe Race half left. a cup right. Hit it a little bit firm. With a bit of luck, that'll drop for me. Oh, nice just. Eagle. Just under Reddit, really. That's how you do it. So that's our second Good eagle. Job. Nine under. Hole 17. It's a par. So 17 three. again. It's quite a narrow green, so there's not a lot of room for me, but with an 8 iron it's okay, because you've got a bit of control. But again, oh, a bit of backspin would help. <laughs> Let's get up and check. Stop. That's okay. On the That's green. 10 foot, yeah. Bit of birdie now. It's a birdie pop, right edge. Just nearly under hit that. It's a 10, going down 18. Par 4. Last one. Pull 18. It's a par 4. And again, 18, the fairway narrows. But again, there's plenty of room. I might just put a bit of shape on it. Just to give ourselves maximum opportunity to land it on the short green stuff. Yeah. And the slope should just bring it back, hopefully. Oh, semi-rough. Not quite. So that's going to affect our impact. Hopefully not too much. So we're going to lose a little bit on the lie. Plenty of room, though. 
That's okay, it's a little bit left, but yeah. that's okay. It's pin high-ish. It's that's all right, nine foot. Could this be a birdie? So nine foot for a birdie and 11 it's under. It's sloping up. So maybe half a cup. And I think that's how you play that course. Hit the fairways, hit the greens, just make it simple. So as we reduce the club power next time we play this, that's the lesson we got to learn: is to is to keep our confidence and make better decisions. I'd like to see the stats for that. Actually, I think that's probably a pretty good round. No need for sort of recovery shots. Well, there you go, top eight. So I've got thirteen. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. So let's have a quick look at the statistics. We got a massive drive on it as well today, didn't we? Yeah, 406, which is not bad. Lots of impacts, 72% impacts, 85, so we must have missed a fairway. And we got all the greens. Oh, semi rough, that'd be the last one, wouldn't it? That's the only one we missed, I think. So, yeah. Fairways and greens, ladies and gentlemen. Fairways and greens. So, that's all for today. Uh, please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave me a comment. Uh, I'll see you next time for a little bit more of your mini's golf. Okay.